the last eight years, I've been teaching climate change to people here in Ireland. And this week is a really big week for people like me who are interested in climate change. Because right now, in Paris, the United Nations is meeting for the 21st year in a row to try and get a global agreement on climate. Joined here in studio by Dr. Cara Augustenborg, who is chairperson of Friends of the Earth and lectures in environmental uh, change uh, at uh, University College Dublin. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us on the program. And now, when you saw this report from the EPA today, were, was it what you were expecting or were you surprised? Well, two years ago, the EPA reported that we would fall short of our EU climate and emission reduction targets by about 50%. And today, what they announced indicates the situation. Our next award winner is 18-year-old Molly Comish. She was determined to act after seeing so many homeless people living and sleeping on the streets of Ireland. She was nominated by the Rotary Club of Bray for her idea of giving packs of essential items to homeless people in her hometown. Let's see her in action. I was walking around Dublin in December of 2015 and I just saw the amount of homeless people and I decided that I needed to make a difference. So I'm trying anyway. It just makes me really sad that people do have to live that way, but uh, I'm trying my best to help them make it a little bit easier. Winning the award is amazing. I never in my wildest dreams thought that I would have won it. So to win it is incredible. Yeah, I couldn't believe it, I was over the moon. Molly, how do you feel? I'm over the moon. I can't believe I've won it. Yeah, it's amazing. Now it's it's such a simple idea, but such a such a lovely thought. What what gave you the idea to come up with these dignity packs? Um, I just saw so many homeless people sleeping on the streets and I thought this isn't right so I decided I wanted to make a change and I decided to make 30 by myself so I didn't tell my mum or dad or no one and then they caught me bringing in 30 wet wipes and they were like what's going on <laughs> yeah. so I had to tell Stop them. Stop putting toothbrushes on the shopping <laughs> yeah, list. <exactly. laughs> so then I just had to tell them and then it's kind of just expanded and we made 120 this year. Wow and yeah. what, what's the reaction from people when you pass them over? Everyone's just so happy they want to hug you they want to say thank you you and it's it's such a good feeling when you give them out yeah and for breakfast the women in yogurt ads have never been broken up with they're too pure and serene and undamaged to have ever experienced this sort of pain i wonder will anyone ever look at me the way nicole scherzinger looks at a muller corner Dick, do you have people coming in here my age who have who are paying 500 euro rent and managing to save 500 euro? I do. It depends on their salary. It depends on their income. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. No. And I do, I what do you wanted us to do here? Uh, you're, you're single, obviously. And, uh, so Is that obvious? <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean obviously in that <laughs> term, but you're only speaking about yourself, yeah, obviously. No, yeah, right. It seems like, as I kind of look into these things, that like being an adult and growing old is much easier if you're like partnered up it's like much less like if you have two people who are paying into a mortgage then that's like a much less of a fiscal burden can you get a mortgage with your friend you can yeah murphy works well so there you go i love patty like straight in with the marriage proposal like do you want to take my name you get the things you need from wherever you need to you know where from wherever you can and I think like I've had people step into my life who have been like a dad to me uh, who oh, have thank you. Thank you. oh yeah <laughs> thanks Brenton 